when music comes to mind what comes next is voices as a singer or a minister of god your voice forms a very important part of your ministry and you can't joke with it so one thing i've realized is that uh, every artist has a different voice but i was able to categorize them into two different groups let's take a look at this i will make room for you and this Let the army roll. Hey. see the difference so we have the i call them the sweet melodious voices like those who have sweet like melodious you. voices like ikea <laughs> and we have yes you have a sweet voice and we have people because that's a sweet emotional no. strong voice and we have the other people too who are i call them the prayers now nah, i will explain don't worry the people in the sweet category mostly have a similar kind of voice their voices are mostly sweet cool chilly romantic emotional nice jonathan mccrinos is on the sweet mali music called out music luigi mclean uh who again everything that you desire <laughs> now on the other side today pray your category also has a similar kind of voice their voices are quite aggressive raw husky prayerful and all those kind of things you see oye kan nathan obasi so by now you know where i'm going but then now the question is which one is the best thank you for the opportunity yeah. man of god i want to thank god for giving me <laughs> scratch that i will say that there's none that can be classified as the best because we all have that's the uniqueness about the thing we all have different voices we all have we've been gifted with different abilities invariably different voices through which God can use to minister powerfully to people. Yeah. Whether it is sweet, whether it's husky. Yes, people have different textures of voice tones. Yeah. Some people have deep voices, mm. sweet voices. But equally, if a person with a sweet voice stands with the backing of the anointing mm. and ministers, it moves. Yeah. If someone with a husky voice stands with the backing of the anointing, it moves. Mm. They move powerfully. Yeah. Yes, and that's what makes it unique. You I also want to say that when it comes to the gospel music ministry or the industry, the what makes it what makes the difference is the anointing. Is the is the anointing that God gives you. And then today we are here to say that no matter the voice you have, it's the anointing that that makes the difference. And God's move during your ministration is not limited to the kind of voice you have. So it's the anointing that uh, another way of anointing is what it's the anointing that makes the different difference. It's not just it's not the quality yeah, of your yeah. voice because i do not want to throw shot at anyone but there are some you know some ministers that do not have any peculiar sweet voice bia like that but then because so but when they sing you know that then your spines even the, even your boyfriend cannot make you feel like the way they make you feel yes i hope you understand the point so somebody will ask that so do i if i have if i fall into any of these particular in any of these categories does it make a does it make a difference each one of these categories of the voices communicates a particular mood, a particular tone, a particular atmosphere that the other one will not have. Let me give you an example. If you listen to Jonathan McRaynor's song, it will give you a more lovely part of me when I watch it. So, yeah. Yeah. So I'll stay high, coming down for no. But if you listen to a song by maybe the same song, let's give it to do so you can to sing. <laughs> and I will stay high. <laughs> They are coming down for no reason. <laughs> so realize that the tone is like different personalities that we all have. The tone, would, would, the, the atmosphere, the tone, the packaging of the message will be different. So if you give the same song to Jometu, to Jometu who have his own, his own way, way of, of singing it. it. If you take it to uh, Koda Music, he has his own way of singing it. So realize that, yes, your voice is not as important as that, as far as the anointing is, 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 is concerned. But then, Physically, it also affects your ministration yeah, because it sets a tone. It sets a tone and the mood and and, and and emotional connection with the audience. It's different. Do I need to do something about it? Do I need to improve it? Do I need to train my voice? Do I need to preserve it? Do I need to maintain it? Okay, so I think that the fact that we are saying 
anointing and all that we also the bible says that in every god is a god of excellence so in everything we do we have to attach that element of excellence to it that comes into play with training the voice mm. we shouldn't have the excuse that yes god will use it but we also have our parts to play our role to play that is training the voice mm. david the bible says that david played skillfully ah. and it was so pleasing to ah. god so as minstrels and as ministers who deliver gifts and packages to god's people through our voices mm. it's also important that we also train our voices we have to keep on like improving it day after day day after day and you realize that even as you keep on improving it you keep on learning so many things and it adds on to the quality of your ministration mm. aside from the anointing it adds a touch yeah. to the ministration so you can definitely tell like let's say ministration one ministration to someone who has trained the voice and still relying on the holy spirit mm-hmm. and still having the backing of the anointing yeah. and someone who yes has the backing of the anointing and all that and mm-hmm. has not trained the voice you see that there are some elements that differ mm-hmm. and it adds on to the administration as the spice between uh, it so, yeah. in, uh, i'm not trying to also repeat what you're saying but i think that it's also important to preserve and maintain your voice in as much as we are acknowledging the move of the holy spirit because we can also go and give grade b to god we are giving grade a to god so use what you don't force don't force yourself to be like somebody else but then that the what whatever voice god has given you like me to my voice is very nice like it's not like easiest one but i use what god has given me and it's amazing i mean i want to give an example look at someone like kofi also be proud kofi also be proud doesn't really have the sweetest of voices it's always husky it's always as it be our the voice but then he ministers and god and i'm sure he has he has measures to preserve the voice so yeah please that's it have you had that yeah like it's conclusion of